Today, we are going to build together. I want to construct a vegetable garden that can house thousands of plants. This will require us doing a little bit of math, but it's the simplest type of math, so don't be afraid. To do this, I need to calculate the area of the farmland I want. I can calculate the area if I don't know the shape of the plot of land. The area of a triangular plot of land can be calculated with the formula 1 over 2BH, with B standing for the base and H representing the height, while the area of a rectangular plot of land can be calculated by simply multiplying the length and breadth of the farmland. After calculating the area, I'd like to have an idea of how many plants I can plant in this garden. To do this, I would need to have an idea of the space between each plant and the next. Let's assume there's a space of 30 cm times 30 cm between each plant. With an idea of the spacing between each plant, I can finally calculate the total plant population. The total plant population is simply the area of the farmland in meters square divided by the spacing between the crops. Plant population equals area of farmland meters square divided by spacing meters square. Now we can calculate the area of the farmland spacing and total plant population. Let's try an example, shall we? If the length and width of a farm is 60 and 30 meters, and the spacing between each plant is 30 centimeters and 30 centimeters, calculate the area of the farmland. Total plant population and total population if there are two plants per stand. The area of the farmland is 30 times 30 meters. Remember the formula? It's length x breadth, making the area 1,800 meters. The spacing is calculated as 30 centimeters times 30 centimeters, which is 0.09 meters square. Now we can calculate the total plant population, which is the area divided by the spacing. This will give us 20,000 crops. If there are two crops per stand, that means in total we have 20,000 times two, which equals to 40,000 crops. If you got it right, give yourself a round of applause. Even if you didn't, still give yourself a round of applause. You'll try it again. We hope you enjoyed this lesson. See you in the next one.